Hey there, Boots Owen here. Potentially a very short video, potentially a bit longer, and potentially a rant about looking in skips and whatnot. It won't be a rant, it might be a rant. This is a bottle of gas I found at the weekend. It was in a skip. Somebody's treated it with a fair deal of abuse, and that's the way it is. Can I unscrew it, I wonder? Yeah, I can. Um, I think camping gas, some of them, some of the cartridges from camping gas. Oh. Mm, smells gassy. Some of them, if you open them, they will, well, they'll just put gas everywhere. They won't stop letting the gas off, which, you know, if you're doing that indoors, it's a bad idea. And if you want to save the cartridge, it's also a bad idea. So I'll just give this a wipe. So I found this in a skip at the weekend. And then, because I, I, I saw it and I thought, well, there's gas in the bottle, so that's a good start. Then I remembered, I found these two pieces in a Go System blowtorch box outside a house, outside another premises, um, in a skip. There's a base. Here's instructions for it, and this is a smaller one. Uh, but the instructions look to be similar to this handle. Well, it's slightly different. Uh, may, well, it's, this one's broken. No, I think it's the same. I think this is it. Go system, yeah. So that one, that one's a bit of a dud. But this one, I don't know where this one came from. Let's give it a bit of a wipe, but it was in a different box, stored with all my gas regulators and bits, and I just, when, when I'm looking at gas stuff, that's where it'll go. It's a bit loose there, so let's tighten up this nut. Seems to be the trick. Let's get a spanner. But there's just stuff everywhere. There's stuff everywhere, and people throw stuff away all the time, and they throw half of a thing away because it's broken. And, you know, it is broken. There's no, there's no issue with that. This... This thing here has taken a knock, and the valve wasn't opening at all when I tried. I tried it on the bottle, it wasn't opening at all. So I'll put this on here. We'll see how we go. This video could also be called "How to Change the Cartridge on a Go System Bottle." So, it's cold out here in the garage. Let's get the lighter on it. Now that I've just released a load of gas, it won't ignite because, because I hope it won't, <laughs> because the mixture is wrong. doesn't look particularly healthy as a flame goes. On that basis, it's probably, it's a little bit hot around that shroud now, so let's leave that there. Let's have a look at this one, which is the one that I found, which was dirty. Let's take off the handle, because the handle is still good, you know. It looks like a brass nut, but I think it's not brass. I think it's steel. With a, it's a magnet. Steel with a, that's brass there. Steel with a brassy finish on it. Now how would this come off? There's a clip on each side in here. So this should kind of snap off then. Yeah, like that. That just that's a shroud or a cover which doesn't feature on this one. So I could put this handle on this one, I guess, because it looks like the burner um valve is the same. Now that's been bent. That's coming off wonky. You see when I twist it it comes off wonky. So how would that come off now? Might just tap out or something. It's got a, a locator in there, so the handle's a bit broken too. All right. So on this end here, anyways, I see a jet. It's taken a it's taken a bash there. I see a little jet. Let's try and see if I can open that jet. Those jets are easy to replace. Yeah, just unscrews. And then there's another thread on the outside here that must hold the burner shroud. If it's called a shroud, I don't know what it's called. Now there's a little filter in there and there's a little pinhole there. The filter has a load of snot on it. <sighs> so that's no good. Right. Let's... That's cooled down sufficiently for me to unscrew the thing. Let's have a look at the 
burner jet so that looks okay there's nothing to do there it's just it's just a little shroud a flared it's not even flared it's straight sided let's take out this fellow i've just loosened with the spanner similar Ooh, what's that piece of aluminium in there oh, better close it let's see is that piece of aluminium in the other one i don't know what that's about there wasn't any dirt on the end of that jet though that's what i was looking for yeah little plug of aluminium in there that must be some kind of a thing for regulating the gas i don't know i don't know how it works or what it does these um are a bit of a consumer thing they're not particularly expensive is that brass might be Try it again. It won't light. Where's my striker? Striker for striking a spark. think there's going to be much more to this video. I've now got a gas bottle that's partially full. Um, I have this other one that I think fits onto bigger bottles. That's Go System as well. Very clean brass, but it fits onto, I think, map gas sized bottles. Um, doesn't mean anything to you, does it? Bottles like this, um, quick fire size. This is a Rothenberger, so I'll, I'll leave the Go System behind. It works and I'm happy with that. I have a little butane propane mixed gas thing. This is a Rothenberger quick fire. I found this in a skip as it is. You can see that the gas bottle's bent, but the um, unit's okay. So it's a cast aluminium unit, which is pretty, pretty wet. And you can see maybe here that the neck here is off at a bit of an angle this way to the body. So it's been dropped and that, that hole is squeezed and that hole is elongated. Dustbin back here so we can see the flame. You press the button and it lights. And you can you can't you can't adjust the flame on this, it just has on and off. And it has a I don't know what that guy is, some kind of a lock, I think, or something. I can't remember actually what that is. Let's check it out. It's a lock to keep it on. It's a lock to keep it on. You can turn it off and then you can't depress it. I found this in a skip, I just said that. This one was filthy completely solid this button wouldn't depress and so nothing nothing would work on it you couldn't you couldn't make it do anything so very carefully i set to and thought well i know these are expensive this is um as it is maybe 80 quid or 100 quid something like that that might be with or without the gas i don't know it says 39 b 20 what does that say can't see chilton WI. Put a bit of wire brush on it, but it doesn't really matter right now. So the aluminium body is okay, and the, there's a piezo ignition thing. So whenever you press the button, it strikes a little, it strikes a little spark up here. By magic, it's not magic. There's a little wire or something running up it, I think. And it's a bit loose. The brass up up here is a bit loose, but that doesn't seem to affect it either. It's held in with um. I think it's an Allen key here and here, and a grub screw. So you can buy, if I recall correctly, everything except the body, everything except the black bit. So all the parts required to fix this and to make it, you know, uh, refurbish it, uh, service kit, 
But the reality is, I've used this quite a bit for heating things up. It's very, very handy given that you're you're just ready to go. Desoldering things that are um, soldered together, obviously. The fact that it ignites just, just in your hand is really useful. But I didn't pay for it. It, ju it was just there. And it took me maybe half an hour to tap, tap, tap everything. Like, I put an Allen key in here, say, into that screw and just tap it. Tap the end of the Allen key with a hammer very gently to release it. And everything eventually came apart and I was able to get this bit here off. I must have taken that off. Stuff all, it all unscrews. I can probably see that wire running up the centre here for the ignition. If I, yeah, there it is. That's the ignition fuse there, whatever you'd call it. High tension wire. That's brass on the tip. That's brass. That's stainless, I think. No, it's mildly feels a little that could be the um thing inside though so time and patience and then it wouldn't spark so what i did was i just took it all off off the gas bottle it was off the gas bottle really from the start these ones you can swap them over this is where i was going with this other go system one before i started waffling um that bottle is nearly empty but i've gotten a good bit of going out of it this fellow here i just left the parts as i had taken them apart up by the stove for maybe a week and just let it dry out just left it there to dry out so i think this one will fit on here and when it dried out after a few days it sparked close that valve before i put this on here i don't know if i got this out of a skip or where but this one is rather more basic no adjustment on it same as the, the um same as the quick fire there's no adjustment you can get one of these with an adjustment on it. it's bigger smaller flames that one says 1209. Maybe it has some adjustment and that you can open it a bit more. I don't know. It's going to make gas again. Is it? Yeah, there it is. Not so bad. But I quite like this one. I think you can use this with map gas as well. So if you get a bit of a hotter flame. Although I'm not sure that I really need that most of the time. Let's check that that's come through. Look at that. Mate. It's just ready to go. Wonderful. So, I don't think I paid for that. I suspect I found that in, in a skip or in a toolbox. I might have bought a toolbox full of tools or something. So now, this one's come out of my scrap box. This one is going to go into my scrap box. It's a bit damp, so I'll probably leave it somewhere to dry first for a while. Put that back on there. And if I need spares, a spare plastic handle or something like that, I'll have it. But now I've got another bottle of gas, half full, with a burner on it, just ready to go for free so i'm just trying to make the point i guess that if you keep your eyes peeled and have a bit of time in the case of the rothman burger or in the what, what did it take me to get this fellow unscrewed and screwed together five minutes and a bit of storage over time you've got free stuff and the stuff is kept out of landfill that would that was in a skip so maybe it could have been pulled out and thrown into scrap metal but the butane's going to go into the atmosphere the mixed gas is going to go into the atmosphere and you know, do damage at some level. And it's also a waste. It's been produced and thrown out without being used, which is a waste. Maybe that was my rant, was it? Questions or comments, leave them below. If you found anything good in a skip, tell me about it. I love skip stories. Have a look at my uh, skip diving videos. I may well have found some of these things on camera, although I'm not, I didn't find that Rothenberger on camera. I remember to skip because it's such a good thing to have found. Questions or comments, leave them below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. See you later.